Hello guys, Shinsen here. Today we're going to be reacting to the Game Theorists Mad Pets Goodbye video. Sorry. Sorry I'm not usually as energetic as I usually am. Uh, I haven't seen this yet uh, because I wanted to save this for this video, but... See, Matt Pat's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's one of the many YouTubers that actually inspired me to create this channel. You see, when I first created, well, before I created this channel, I had a TikTok channel. I still do. I still post on there. But for a good while, I was mainly a TikToker. You know, learning... Seeing how content creation works. Then I came over here onto YouTube. So I could finally live my dream of being a YouTuber. But seeing so many YouTubers nowadays to leaving kind of hurts, you know? It's like MatPat, Stampy Longlegs, Many others I used to watch as a kid, like Dan TDM. I know he hasn't left. Or he may have, I don't know. I haven't watched his newest video yet. But, you know, it's hard to see your childhood idol go. Like many people. Probably like how the internet is right now. It's somber. Because... Freaking map pad. I mean, come on. Who do you think about solving lore? Map pad is what comes to mind, or the game theorists. But it's like, what's next? I know we got newer YouTubers coming up, like ID Fantasy, Gotcha, Red Jet, Extract the Lore. Me too. I mean, I might be smaller, but I still strive to create videos for you guys. Even though I probably don't have an, on an audience, but... You know, it's like the end of an era. One door closes, and another one opens. <sighs> Sad. It's like it's passing the baton on to newer... A new generation of YouTubers. And I hope I can live up to that expectation. Because I understand from what I've been hearing on TikTok, he hasn't left or he's still behind the scene or something like that. I don't know. It's because the fact. Hard to see. Very sad. So, let's get on with the video. Passing up a baton. It's not clickbait. On March 9th, I will be hosting my last theory episode. At which point, I'll be handing off the channels. Hold on. No, wait, no. Precisely, but with an announcement like this, I wanted to bring it back to just us. There, there's no one else in the room. There's no teleprompters. There's no nothing. It's just the way that this whole thing started. It's a conversation between us. And uh, sorry that I keep getting emotional about this. Um, I, I'll, I'll try not to, but but it's a big deal, you know. Like if you think about it, this channel is Steph and my first child, really. Before we had Ollie. Before we had Skip. Cat bat, like, it was this. This was our baby. This channel has been going for 13 years. I think in total, it's, it's somewhere around, like, 
1,200 theories. <laughs> um, only half of those are FNAF. <laughs> Shocking. I know, we actually did stuff that wasn't FNAF related. But this has been a literal third of my life. And I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss this. I value what we have here. I value this conversation, this openness, this relationship that we share. And I'm sad that I won't be able to see you every week. Which then I guess prompts the question of like, why? Why am I doing this now? Why Why am I making this announcement today? Why? Why am I walking away from the channels? Well, to be honest, um... It was Tom Scott. You can blame Tom Scott. Tom just did his farewell video, and I'm like, huh, well, he was able to do it. I want to be able to fly away in a helicopter. Obviously, that's not it. Um, but really, my reasons for making this announcement today is probably largely the same as Tom's reasons, or Seth Everman's, or Captain Sparkles, or Papa Meats, or Stampy Longheads. Like, there's a lot of these videos that are coming out these days, and there's going to be a lot more happening throughout this year. Steph and I have known this video would be coming for the last three years. We weren't sure it was necessarily going to be today. We didn't know exactly when it would fall, but we knew it was going to happen eventually. That's why over the last couple of years, we've been staffing up so much. That's why we partnered with a larger company to help run the channels. That's why we've been spending so much time outside of this box training up the team to make the best videos that they can because we knew that we couldn't do this forever we knew that honestly we didn't want to do this forever for as much as i love you and i love overthinking things and i love theorizing i don't love late nights i don't love the fact that steph and i have been work first for over a decade where i'm sitting down at dinner with my best friend and we're talking about business logistics or we're talking about animatronic toads i miss the days where i could just sit down on the couch with her and play video games and it's not for content or i'm playing a game and i'm not thinking about what theories are going to come out of that i miss it so that's that's a big reason that is that's a big one right there uh but also just the internet's changing my life has changed in the last 13 years that is I true Valley before he's the coolest little dude and he's getting older by the minute And I watch him, and he is so much fun. And he is so much smarter than I was when I was his age. He also probably knows the FNAF lore better than I do, (laughs) which is a problem that I should probably address at some point. But honestly, I want to be able to spend more time with him. Another sad fact of the matter is is I'm getting older. I'm 37 now. The other day, I actually had to Google my own age. And you know that when you have to start, like, doing math, in your head to calculate how old you are, you are over the hill, my friends. Though to be fair, to my credit, I think I'm like the only 37-year-old out there who has an unironic appreciation of Skibbity Toilet. And again, <laughs> maybe that's the problem, right? <laughs> like, maybe that's not a good thing. And honestly, because this is all about us being honest, there is a bit of a selfish side to this. When you think about it, there's only really two ways to step away from a YouTube channel. You either just decide the day that you stop uploading, and you're like, yeah. done. Or you just keep uploading videos from now until the heat death of the universe and you watch as your relevance slowly dies or your passion slowly dies. And for me and my journey in this place, I always wanted to go out on a high note. And when you stop and look at the last year, this has been the best year in the theorist lifespan ever. Like, no joke. It is our highest view year. Hmm. Uh, it is the year where we launched Style Theory and immediately yeah, that was put our fun. foothold in a brand new space. And that took hmm. off and now we're one hmm. of the top style and fashion channels on YouTube. And hmm. that kind of completes the trifecta. Play at the PGA and show that, hey, YouTubers aren't particularly good at golf, but they can make your event relevant for like a couple of minutes. It was also the year that I got to host the Streamy Awards. And it wasn't cringe. I mean... To be, to be fair, the streaming awards are always a little bit cringe, but uh, it, was, it was the right amount of cringe. When I pull up videos of all my favorite creators and I watch them, and all of a sudden I start hearing people just casually dropping, that's just a theory. <laughs> just a theory, a game theory. Now this is just a theory, people. At the end of the day, it's just a game theory. That's just a theory. A free birds theory. Mm-hmm. Also a lot of lore, so if you're a big theory head, proceed at your own risk. I did not know about this theory. Or That's a theory. Okay. <laughs> that right there, that is incredible. That's the note that I want to leave on. 
And that's how you just know it's the right time. All of those reasons coming together, and saying, hey, this is the moment. And that's hard to say, because change is scary. Change is hard. But sometimes the right decision isn't the easy decision. The, the easy decision would just be to carry on doing this and do FNAF part 332. Mm. That would be the right decision. I think the best way to explain it is with a video game analogy. Feels appropriate, right? Whoa, it's game theory, ha! Did it, check the game part of it off. But the way I like to think about it is Earthbound. I think I've made it pretty clear over the years that that is without question my favorite game of all time. <laughs> Sansa's Nest, all that, you're all familiar with that. But what you might not be familiar with at this point is how the game ends. At the end of Earthbound, after you save the world, everything opens up to you. You can revisit every single location that you've been to. You can talk to every NPC that you met on your journey. And it's this incredible moment as a gamer. You see just how many lives have been impacted thanks to your journey. And then after spending as much time as you want talking to all those people, you end up back home. You go back to where it all began, where you were just a kid waking up in bed and starting your adventure. And even though your mom's there and your dog's there and your weird telephone dad's there, it feels different somehow. Like, sure, this is still a place of love and acceptance and comfort and security, but you just don't quite fit anymore. Because you just traveled the world. You made all these new friends. You are different. You grew up. And your relationship to this place grows up. It evolves. In case you couldn't tell, I'm Ness. Which, <laughs> I guess, would also mean that I'm also Sans. <laughs> but I was also Ness in the FNAF movie, which just opens up all sorts of weird canons. So that That's a good movie. I watched one. it. So, anyway, <laughs> there you have it. That is why I'm leaving. I hope you can understand. But that obviously begs the question of, like, what happens to the channels? Well, for the next ten weeks, we're going to have ourselves a big old going away party. If Unis Anas taught us anything, it, it taught us that you probably shouldn't use urine uh, for a personal thought. But if Unis Anas taught us to... One was uh, to not soak in your own urine, but two was to appreciate the time that you have left. being 10 feet tall mathematical rigor double check <laughs> so i have nine theories left on each of the channels so we're going to call them math pass final 10 because that's better at which point then on march 9th we're going to have that big going away celebration math pass final theory and i just dumped yeah i stand astride my music man and he just music man but then something special happened do the channels go away with me no actually they I don't, don't. <laughs> and, and sure, game theory is a format that I created. It's a show with this very excitable host who makes a lot of cringy dad jokes and says the word lore a lot. But the end lore. Hmm. Today, it's more than just the host. It is a show. It is a format, <laughs> and in a broader sense, it is a state of mind. It's a way of thinking and approaching the world around you. It's more than just the host. And when you think about it, not a lot of you function we're special in that regard like you're not going to be able to get another markiplier stepping into the marketplace
in the rest. <laughs> yeah. Never seen that, but I'm gonna make probably watch it after this video. editors are there I seen that one that one's a good one something before this recording so yeah <laughs> man oh mm. on with it she got in and she just devoured everything that we threw at her so much so that she eventually got to the point where she was so good that she was consulting the largest mobile game company in the world based off of the stuff that we were working on here in studio incredible and all of that while being responsible for packaging somewhere around like 500 episodes across all the channels and then she helped me and Steph brainstorm style theory for two years before the channel eventually launched hoping that maybe one day she would be able to rise up and post a girl for it and now here it is and then of course you have Santi and Tom uh, Santi over on food theory and Tom over here on game theory and interestingly enough they what I think is happening here is uh, much less more than all the channels being quitting on or quit on whatever your grandma your whatever the correct pronunciation is uh i don't really think map pat stepping down and relieving and retiring all these channels much less more like passing on the baton he's stepping down from being the host and giving other people a chance you know <sighs> Sad. It really is. It really is. Sorry if y'all see me messing around with my microphone. Uh, it's because I'm not really used to it. Other YouTubers have more experience than me. <laughs> I'm just really messed up. Mm. I'll get over it. 
got school work to do after this. They both grew up watching Game Theory. So did I. Their childhood show, which, to be fair, just shows how old we are. Sante would eventually <laughs> go work at Mythical. Been ruining your... <clears throat> Let me get an impression. My best impression. <laughs> Welcome to Game Theory. We've been ruining your childhood since 2011. I already know. It's not even the end of the video yet, but I'm going to say it anyways. Mad Pet, I really hope you have a great endeavor in your life. And I hope the decision you chose is what you're okay with as what I'm what I'm interpreting it as is um stepping down as the host of all four YouTube channels. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory! <laughs> well, let's continue watching. Uh oh. Reality, but now it's my chance to step into the role of Scott Coffin. Uh, spoilers. Asante, Lee, Amy, and Tom step up and take over the hosting. Alongside the creative directors, talking about programming, brainstorming <laughs> ideas for upcoming episodes. That's awesome. I love that. I don't want to give that up. But the other cool thing about. challenge those new hosts of the channel things that i've had in <laughs> my mind from years of studying media that i can now make a reality and the channels can comment on things like for instance i have a lo-fi mystery series that I'm really really gonna do it's basically like if you took a lo-fi channel and applied an arg narrative to it it becomes four fi i am so stoked about this the music four fi No, not mute. Ah. Hey, if you guys want me to uh, solve that ARG when it comes out, get me to, let me think of a like goal that we can easily reach with my, get me to at least a hundred likes and I will do that lo-fi ARG. No, no. Lore Fi or I G no, A R G <laughs> Hundred Hundred likes. That's the goal. A hundred likes and I'll do that ARG. Mm-hmm. A hundred likes. <sighs> Sorry. Brains all over the place. Let's keep going. Year. It's basically like Gravity Falls, but aged it up and made it about adulting. 
it's really, really solid. And also, there's this video game idea that I've wanted to do for like so long that I've never had the opportunity to really like dive into and, and make reality. But now it's my chance to step into the role of Scott Cawthon and challenge the new game theorist. There's always been the memes about are Scott Cawthon and I the same person? Not yet, but who knows? Maybe start mm. later this year. And those are just the immediate things that I have on my to do list because I want to make fun, cool things for you. And even if it's not a weekly episode, I still want to give those things to you. Because I think you'll like them. I will. We will. You are so important to me. Every single one of those people who stopped me on the street, it's an honor. Right? It's interesting. Because of this whole transition, I've been thinking a lot about my time on these channels. And the evolution that we've gone to together. In the beginning, right? I was kind of like the edgy older brother. Where I would talk about, like, oh, did you know that Link is dead? And let's make some boob jokes. And then at a certain point, I evolved into Dad Pack, right? I, I became a mature <laughs> and a team around me. Uh, I had to be more careful about who I was saying was dead on a regular basis. Uh, instead of talking about boobs, I ended up talking about Luigi's bulge. That felt like the right decision. At this point, <laughs> I think I'm kind of evolving into a, a Grandpa Pat, you know, for lack of a better term. Uh, and just like your grandparents, hopefully cool grandparents, but uh, just like a grandparent, you know, you don't get to see me all the time. And I don't get to see you all the time. And maybe we call and talk to each other every once in a while. But, but at the end of the day, that grandpa loves getting to see you. Maybe he shows up at a special event. Maybe he shows up at a holiday. Uh, maybe he shows up at the, the Theory Wear fashion show. <laughs> Who knows? But he so looks forward to seeing you. And the love that he has for you, it doesn't go away. That grandpa is so proud of you. And he cherishes the relationship that you've had so much. <laughs> and he is so honored to be a part of your life. Hmm. To have yeah. been a part And chills down my back. Chills down my back. Not just bad impressions. Not just worse. <laughs> what you have done for me, and from everyone I talk to, what I've done for you, is special. It's special. When I was in middle school, I had this goal. Because I had been part of it. Didn't have to be big. Didn't have to be curing cancer. But I wanted there to have been a ripple impact. Just because I was there. Butterfly effect for Luna. We've done it. I think we've been able to achieve something great. No. sign out now and i'll be around for a couple more weeks i'll be living around the house for a while we'll have a big uh, family reunion celebration <laughs> off to my little shack in the woods my retirement home down in florida <laughs> I'll, I'll pop in every once in a while anyway uh at this point in my notes i had it written that we're going to start the countdown clock of that like final 10 episodes final nine episodes so start that i don't know what's going to look like yet uh -huh. hopefully the editors don't rip off unisana's too much if they do, I hope they change it. Um, and with that, and with that, I'm going to say, for one of the final times, not the final time, but one of the final times, as always, my friends, remember, it's just a theory. A game theory. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Chills, chills down my back. Whoa, see, not that it was one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh wait, no, I already said this. Well, can't think straight. <laughs> Well, Shinsen, signing off, but let me tell you something, just because one door closes doesn't mean another one doesn't open. This is change. No one likes change, but it happens one way or another. We just have to adjust to it. And just like MatPat used to say, that's just a theory. A game theory. And thank you for watching. Shins Shinsen signing out. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Adios.